This little guy can be a really big pest. It's a Mexican fruit fly and it first became a problem for Mexico in the early 1900s. And it first became a problem in California in the 1950s. Tracy Ellis knows pests. She's the county's entomologist and a lifelong bug enthusiast. I think that it all came about when I was a small child and my grandmother was baking or cooking and I was on the kitchen floor and she found insects and every single thing that brought, was brought into the kitchen and would show me as we went. The Mexican fruit fly makes its way to California every year. Being introduced by people bringing in contaminated produce from Mexico and other regions and having to be eradicated just like our current population in Encinitas is now having to be eradicated. And how do you stay ahead of infestations? You have a pest detection program in place. The pest detection program picked up fruit flies in Encinitas in the end of November in a couple of their McPhail traps, which are the glass traps that attract fruit flies. And before we knew it, we had seven fruit flies within a certain little area in Encinitas. And that's what triggered the quarantine. The county works with the state to eradicate any local exotic pests before they harm our local agriculture. The state steps in and sets up the quarantine area and along with releasing sterile flies, checks traps daily. So I'm looking for the glass McPhail trap right now in the trees. Those exotic pests have to be found first and that's where Linda Feely comes in. I'm part of the pest detection program in San Diego County, looking for exotic pests that the state of California tell us they want us to target. They're looking for the Mexican fruit fly, Mediterranean fruit fly, melon fruit fly, oriental fruit flies, and light brown apple moth. Before chasing down exotic pests, Linda was a Navy helicopter mechanic. The coolest thing to me was seeing the five helicopters flying in formation over El Cajon for a Mexican fruit fly infestation in 1989. I wanted to work on those helicopters and by chance, the only thing they were hiring for was to release the sterile Mexican fruit flies. She and her fellow pest detectors set five sets of traps for every square mile in residential areas. We do not trap outside in the rural areas, but the state of California does. And when the state does set a quarantine area... Any quarantine against fruit flies has to last three generations of the fruit fly before we're declared fruit fly free. And it has to be three generations without finding another fly. This program helps ensure that when you go to the grocery store, you don't have to cut open all of the fruit to make sure you're not eating maggots. There are some countries that it's acceptable. Here in the United States, we really don't like doing that.